Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be going through a few little goodies that I just recently got from the Australian brand Dish. So Dish is a brand that I talked about in my Where I Shop video which I will leave linked above and below if you want to check that out. I also have other videos where I've talked through different items I've purchased from Dish. However, I haven't purchased as much from Dish in the last year or so. I did just purchase this sweet little knit vest, I would say like three months ago or so, and I've honestly been wearing this so much this summer, which sounds a little counterintuitive because it is a knit, but I work indoors, whether it's in the office or in my home, and so my temperature does kind of fluctuate throughout the day, so I actually find having a sleeveless sweater with just like a pair of trousers and Birkenstocks is a really nice casual kind of go-to outfit. And I also find just it's a really nice neckline for me. I always love a crew neck versus like a v-neck. And so yeah, this has been a piece that I feel like I actually wore a lot more than I even thought I was going to when I bought it. So yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty great. It was my first kind of knitwear piece from Dish. So Dish, I would say, is more known in the past for linen pieces. They became really, really popular over the last like three to five years for linen dresses and skirts, and they still have a really incredible selection of linen. However, I love that they've kind of, as they've gotten more popular, they've expanded the brand into knitwear and jeans and little sets. And so I've got a few of those to kind of share today. And this is kind of like my last like summer hurrah, I guess, when it terms to when it comes to like summer shopping, even though I will say this haul, a couple of the items are definitely for autumn and winter. I'm just more of an autumn winter girly. Honestly, I'm really not into summer that much at all. I tend to just wear the same thing over and over again. This is another go-to. This is not from Dish. This is a piece from Koss. It's just like a linen dress and it's just easy breezy and I love it. So just those easy pieces are kind of what I tend to go for in the summer. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. Let's jump into the pieces. So you know what, let's start with the most summery item, which is this dress. So right out of the gate, uh, I loved the silhouette of this dress. I love that it's a one shoulder, but it still kind of comes up a little bit higher on the chest line. I look so bad in strapless, so I never tend to go for a strapless dress. This one I really had in mind, to be perfectly honest, for like my wedding weekend or honeymoon, but this could be just a really great kind of vacation dress. One thing I want to call out out of the gate is that I guess I just didn't look that closely, but to me, the picture looked really white and it looks like a white linen kind of fabric, but it's definitely not. So this is more of a natural color fabric and I hope that this picks up. I mean, you can see against the white wall, I can even tell in the finder that it's just more of a natural creamy color. There's little texture kind of going throughout the fabric. So it's not even like it's a solid. There's almost like a little bit of texture there. I don't think this is a bad thing necessarily. I just really want to call this out because when I saw this on the website, I was thinking this was going to be like stark white. In fact, I got a stark white skirt, and I'll show you kind of the difference between the two, just so you get a good idea of the difference. So yeah, so if you were looking at any of these pieces, I did just want to call out that this is not really like a pure white. That being said, I do think the material's nice. It definitely needs a good steam. I got this in a size two, which I do think is the correct size. <laughs> I'll get into it in a second, but a size two, the sizing was a little bit all over the place with a lot of this stuff. So I definitely want to talk details about that. But in general, I thought the sizing was really nice on this. It fit really perfectly on the top for me. And a size two is the smallest size that they make. This is an Australian six. And this dress was $189.99. I did end up finding like a 10% off code. So I'll try to leave that link below if it still works, but 
Yes, it, it is definitely on the pricier side for kind of a little vacation dress, but I thought it was a really flattering shape. I love how it comes in at the waist. I love the long length. It's, it's definitely more of a longer midi length where it kind of hits the ankles, but I think you could dress it up by wearing it with heels or dress it down with sandals. I just think it's a really nice, easy breezy vacation dress. To be honest, I'm really on the fence with this because I'm not over the moon with it. I did try it on, not to be graphic, but I am on my period right now, so I'm a little bloated and feeling a little bigger, so I didn't love it when I first tried it on, um, but I'm hoping I'm gonna try it on, wear it around a little more. But I feel like if I'm just not in love with it out of the box, then it needs to go back. That's kind of my mantra now. So it's a beautiful dress and I wanted to share it with you all, but I don't think I was excited about it in person as I was in my mind <laughs> when I saw it. And just to be honest, like that, I don't know, a white vacation dress, I don't know. I just get more excited about like a pair of jeans. Are you guys like that too? Like a pair of jeans and a blazer. I'm just not like a romantic girly in that regard <laughs> or those kind of things like get me excited. So the first dress wasn't a fail. It was just a surprise, I would say, in terms of the fabric and whatnot. And again, I think it was definitely more on the kind of expensive side of things. But again, Dish has raised their prices because they've gotten so popular. So pretty much all of this stuff, all of this stuff is over $100 for sure. Um, but some of it even goes into the 200 plus range. So it, it's definitely on the pricier side of things. However, I do think the quality is decent. I like that the dress is lined. It's still a tiny bit see-through if you wear it with like black underwear, <laughs> which obviously I wouldn't recommend, but in general, I think that it lays really well and it's like fairly decent quality. Now, this next piece, I think is so adorable. So this is a little white skort. They also had it in black. And to be honest, so this one was $129.99. And I got it in a size two, again, which is an Australian size six. I was actually blown away by the quality of this skort. The material is very heavy duty. It is, of course, a skort, so there are shorts underneath of it, which is great because it's super short. So this is the only downside for me with this, and I think I'm gonna try to return it and get a size four because maybe that will help it be not quite so tight and maybe a tiny bit longer. I just think for me, even though I know that they're shorts, it's a little hoochie <laughs> compared to what I normally am used to wearing, however, I know that I'm gonna wear it with like oversized t-shirts and knits and stuff. So I definitely love the structure of it, but I just wanna call out like the material. It's really well made and very like heavy uh, for a skirt. So I loved that, especially because it's white. Like this is absolutely not see-through. I could even wear this with like black or red underwear and you wouldn't see it through here. So I do wanna call that out. The things that I loved about the skirt are the little details, the fact that it has these belt loops. So it's really meant to wear kind of a belt in like a little bit of a low slung way, which I love. I love the idea of wearing this with a black belt to kind of have like black and cream contrast, or I could even do like a tan belt with my Hermes sandals if I wanted to go like cream and tan. So I love that little feature to it. I also just love the little front pockets. So I just, I just thought it was super, super cute. I loved how they styled it on the website. They have it with a black and white striped long sleeve t-shirt. I think it'd be so cute with just little black ballet flats. It's kind of just like a fun, cheeky little summer piece, basically. And the fact that it's a skirt is so nice. I've talked about this before where it's hard sometimes with short dresses and skirts in the city. I mean, even the other day I was wearing a linen skirt that was a little bit on the shorter side and it had a tiny little slit in it and anytime the wind would hit it it would just like pop up and I mean I had little shorts on underneath of it so it didn't matter but like just having to think about that and just go the extra step of wearing little tennis shorts I just don't really want to have to do that so the fact that they're built into these is really really nice and again they're super well made so 
I'll leave the black ones linked below as well. Just from a sizing perspective, I would recommend sizing up. Uh, again, I got a size two. I think I'm gonna try the size four and hopefully that will be a little bit longer, but if it's not, then I might not keep these. Now, now let's get into the more kind of wintry pieces. I would say these are nice like transitional summer pieces you, or transitional like into fall winter pieces. You could even wear some of this stuff in the summer. Again, if you're in a cold office building, let me just show you. I'm talking about a cardigan, right? <laughs> so I picked up this knitwear piece a little bit impulsively, to be honest. I saw it on the site with everything else and thought, I love multiple things about this. I love the fact that it's got this ribbing detail to it. I think that's so cool. I love the color. It's like a dark charcoal gray color, which I don't have a cardigan of that color. I have a black cardigan. I have a light gray wool cardigan from Zara. And I just thought this was like a nice addition to my blossoming cardigan collection because you really can't go wrong with the cardigan. I honestly kind of imagine wearing this more like a shirt. Uh, and I got the size extra small and I think an extra small is perfect. I actually think an, a small would have been too large because I do want it to be, again, I want to wear it more like a shirt. I want it to be a little more fitted. I think it would have been too big in the shoulders to go with the small so i'm glad i got the extra small and this was 129 dollars and 99 cents so i actually think well priced for a knitwear piece it is 50 percent nylon 35 percent wool and 15 percent acrylic i will say it is very soft like it's not itchy at all so i do think this blend feels really nice it's very very soft i can see myself just like grabbing for this. It's just kind of a good like everyday piece. And again, I think it would be so cute with just little black shorts with little ballet flats. You know, if the weather's just like starting to get a little cool or obviously in the autumn and in the winter, you know, you can start pairing it with pants and other things. But yeah, I just think this is a great, great little basic piece to have. And again, I'm so impressed with Dish, Dish's knitwear. I think they're really cute and modern and decent enough semi-natural materials that uh, yeah kind of check all check all the boxes for me now this final piece is actually the reason I even placed this order this was kind of the catalyst of it all and I saw this set and I was like oh my god I love this this is so cool it's so modern I'm gonna love this for fall you all know I'm a little bit of a sucker for a set, but the thing about a set is that you have to love each piece on its own. I feel like if you just purchase something as a set, but you wouldn't wear each piece individually, then it's a little bit of a waste of money. But I feel like with these pieces, I can break them up or I can wear them together. So let me show you, first of all, the thing that really like went home for me with this. And that's the fabric. It's like a heavy kind of wool gray fabric. They also have it in like a light tan kind of. And I'm pretty sure it's a wool. Let me just actually check the... Yeah, so it's 50% wool, 50% polyester. So that is kind of the name of the game with Dish because it's like lower priced. Even though honestly, like this skirt was $149.99. And I got it again in a size uh, two, which is an EU 34, which is an Australian six. And that has been the name of the game for me with Dish. Like I usually, I've gotten size fours before and they've been too large. However, again, like, sorry to be graphic. I don't know if this because I'm on my period or what. I'm hoping maybe it'll fit differently today. I'll insert a little update in this video if that's the case, but I just think I'd be a little more comfortable with the four in this skirt, similarly to the white skirt. I just think the bottoms would be, I want to size up a little bit. Uh, this fits, this one wasn't as, like, it wasn't too short for me. However, I think given that I am going to be wearing this in more of the fall and the winter months, I want to be able to tuck a sweater into it. I just want to have a little bit more room and I think the four would be more forgiving, but not sacrificing on the beautiful shape that this skirt gives. The shape is 
pretty much exactly like my Koss skirts that I have. I have two skirts from Koss. The one of them is 100% wool black, one of my favorite skirts of all time, little wrap skirt. And then my second one is the same skirt, but in leather. And the beautiful thing about those skirts, which this one doesn't have, and I mentioned this a lot that Koss does that a lot of other brands don't do, or I've never seen at least other brands do it, is they allow you to kind of like cinch it in or cinch it out. So for example, it'll give you multiple buttonholes or it'll give you like within their trousers, they'll give you some elastic and then extra buttons if you want to kind of cinch it in, which I think is genius because like as women, we, you know, we bloat, our weight fluctuates. And so that way you're not always like not fitting your clothes. You can sort of adjust your clothes to you. And I just think things like a wrap skirt, like the design is so prime for accommodating that. You just have to kind of add the extra cost of like adding that extra button. So yeah, this skirt doesn't have that, but it's okay. It's still a really pretty wrap skirt. And it would just look so cute with like knee high boots. I mean, again, it would look really cute with like a black t black long sleeve t-shirt and little Mary Janes if it's not like super warm out. As it starts getting warmer, you know, pop on some black tights and a little black turtleneck and then wear this set. I just think it's so, so, so cute. I loved the bomber. So the funny thing about this is massive. This is an oversized bomber. I'm so glad I got it in a size, uh, again, a size Australian six, a size two, because this thing would be gigantic. So definitely do not size up <laughs> with the bomber. This is like, again, an extra, the equivalent of what would be like an extra small. It's the smallest size they have and it is huge. I know that's the look, it's meant to be oversized and I don't mind it. I do love the bomber look and feel in the wool material. It kind of reminds me if, like, I don't know if you guys remember that black wool bomber from Koss that I tried on last year and it's like if you took that jacket and then combined it with the beautiful wool one of my favorite wool jackets from cost that i have and like put it together you would get this bomber just in a different color and so i really do think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this i think this would look so cute with like leather pants and even with trousers as well just to kind of give that fun youthful feel to something like a bomber does that, a Converse shoe does that. So yeah, I think that will be a big staple in my wardrobe for the fall and for the winter, just knowing how I already wear my wool jackets from Koss and whatnot. So yeah, definitely keeping the set, returning the bottoms again to swap them out for size fours and then hopefully those will work. I think I'm gonna return the dress it was a good in theory. I'm just not like falling in love with it when I'm putting it on. And I think that's kind of a sign, but I hope you guys maybe will like it if you're looking for something similar. And hopefully that little tip with the fabric helped because yeah, I took it out of the bag and I definitely was like, mm, not what this looks like on the website, that's for sure. So yes, uh, similarly delivery and all that came through DHL. It was super fast. I got it, I think within three or four days from ordering it and the exchange process hopefully will be pretty simple. And I'll hey everyone, I was just editing this video and realized I left off a couple of points, so I wanted to pop in here at the end and make sure I clarified everything for you all. So firstly, I forgot to tell you the price of the wool bomber. So that jacket is $250, which is the priciest item of the entire haul because it is a jacket um again it's very well made so i think it's personally worth it but it was like on the pricier side for sure the biggest thing um i touched briefly on returns but i mentioned exchanges and it turns out the dish doesn't actually do exchanges so i had to return the two skirts and then just repurchase them in a different size so on the plus side in the US, they partner with this thing called like happy returns or something like that, or like instant refund. So you do get your money back very quickly. They actually refund you before you even, like you don't have to send it back and they process it and all that stuff. The downside is, is that you have to send it back through DHL and pay, I had to pay $20. So it's not free returns, you do have to pay. I'm lucky because my first order, I was able to get 10% off, so like, 
it kind of paid for itself, honestly, but just wanted to call that out that returns are not free. So if you're buying like a ton of stuff and you have to send it all back, like you will have to pay a little bit. And secondly, depending on if you're not that close to a DHL facility or something, maybe it might be different in your town. Maybe they do like USPS or UPS returns, but I just wanted to call that out that it's not quite as seamless as returning, you know, via USPS or UPS or something. So just wanted to say that for the record. And like I mentioned, I am returning the two skirts. I'm going to try them in larger sizes and we'll see. Hopefully they work better. If not, then I will return them again um, and just call that a day. But yeah, and then actually the more that I wore, especially when I was filming the cutaways of the white dress, I actually felt really confident and really nice in it. And so I think it was just when I initially got it, maybe I was just feeling a little bit like Ugh, that day, but I felt much better wearing it around, filming the cutaways and doing stuff like that. So I do think I am going to keep it. The thing that I love about it is it's not too tight. It's very breezy. It's kind of like a really gorgeous vacation dress and the draping on the top, I just think is like so so stunning and so different. So I do think it's a really nice vacation dress and I am kind of trying to build up my like wedding honeymoon wardrobe and I'm getting married in a beachy location. So yeah, for me personally, I'm going to stick with it. But yeah, I just wanted to call that out. So that is all. I will end the video here. Again, hopefully that helped and I'll see you guys in my next video.